we got a just some nice kind of publicity that came from it, and uh, it's nice to kind of get uh, national exposure and kind of a bit of recognition for what we're doing. Um, it's kind of always hard for original acts to kind of keep at it when there's no kind of reward for it, but you know we, we got something out of it, so we're delighted. And what did you win the award for? Um, it was just an original band competition that was set up for for bands that either had uh, students in them or you know one at least, and. Uh, it was it was a national run thing, so there was there was a uh, like three heats around the country. Um, you send in your demos first, and then you get selected for uh, the first heat. There was one in uh, Cork, Galway, and Dublin, and the winners of those went on to the final. Um, and then with the final was in the village um, in Dublin. So uh, there was six bands all together in the final, and uh, we came out top. So we were delighted with that. And has it made it easier for you to get gigs? I suppose it has, like a lot of kind of notice on MySpace and stuff like that. You know, people kind of dropping by and checking us out. When you have a kind of kind of an award like that, it kind of gives something good on your on your press release. And so it, it is. I suppose it helps getting gigs. And is it difficult for upcoming bands to, to get exposure and gigs? I suppose it is. Like especially like in a place like Waterford, like you know, it's not really the centre of things happening. Like maybe in. Dublin like to be a lot more going on and stuff so yeah it's, it's difficult enough like but I suppose you just got to keep at it and like the awards are there a bit of help like we have a few contacts around the country so you just keep slogging away I suppose and hope something comes your way like it's really it you can't there's no there's no miracles I suppose you just got to keep going and what, what what kind of places have you played in in Waterford? We played it in the, in the club the, the forum that's really the main place for bands around Waterford. Like, um, there's another place, Electric Avenue, that's coming up at the moment. That's kind of starting to kind of get a bit of a name for itself. So we play around there fairly often. Like, we get a few gigs in Cork and Dublin as well. So. And what's it like being part of a band? Like, there are five of you here. Are, are there confrontations or anything? Yeah, I suppose it's it's like having five girlfriends. Really, you know, you have to manage everyone's life and make sure everyone's. Uh, Nice and happy, and because we're, we're we're planning to move down to Cork uh, come September, trying to make a. Because we went to college there for three years, so we're going to go back down and see if we can attack that scene more. And uh, so it, it's it's a big operation when you're trying to manage five people in the trying to be in the same place at the same time, especially for practice and for gigs. Because obviously everyone has their own uh, their own life to live as well outside the band. So you know it's uh, it can be uh, stressful at times, but you know. Uh, it has its rewards, you know, playing good gigs and making good music is always what it's about, you know. So how often do you rehearse or what's involved in it? We, when we try and get together at least once a week and if, if we can, more, you know. Um, I, like I said, if, if we're settled in Cork now, we'll have our own kind of space and our own time to practice. So hopefully we can practice a lot more and kind of make it a full-time thing, you know, and attack it like that. And is there one leader of the band or...? Not really, I suppose. We all kind of throw in our own kind of stuff into the pot and mix it all up. And like we have three singers, like myself, Phil, and Alan, all sing different songs, you know, and we all, we all write together. So I suppose we're all in it together, you know, and there's, there's no kind of real kind of leader and sidemen. It's all kind of all for one and one for all. Like. And how did you meet? Well, we all went to school together. We all went to secondary school, and that was pretty much it. You know, we always kind of, we always kind of jammed in some kind of shape or form. And, this Savers of Space format kind of came about two years ago, so that's that's been a proper kind of setup. But before that, we've always kind of been in different bands. I know it's always a really difficult question to answer. I don't know. I never know how to answer it. But uh, like Paul said, like we all kind of come to the band with our, our own different influences and stuff. Like so, we all write. So we're kind of c coming at it from different angles. It's kind of, I suppose, it's alternative rock, whatever that's supposed to be, really. <laughs> but you know, it's it's kind of it's original. It's an original sound. I I think anyway. I hope. Um, but. Uh, it's just kind of indie rock kind of stuff, you know. And do you all share one particular influence? I'm probably uh, 
the oldie but goldie man in the <laughs> band. To be honest, I'm, I'd be influenced by a lot of older stuff and like the lads be kind of into indie a lot and stuff like that. But like we kind of have a fairly decent appreciation for most things. So don't want to say that we're uh, well, we'll listen to any sort of music or anything like that. But yeah, it's broadly similar. Like we're, we we all share the kind of similar interests anyway. Any favorite singers or bands? Uh, well, I'm a I'm a, a John Lennon man myself. Really, that's my uh, he's my man. But I mean, I'd be into the, the kind of older '60s Beatles, The Who, Small Faces kind of stuff. That that'd be my kind of thing. But then again, every, everyone has their own different different kind of interests. Like, and um, so finally, then, where do you see the band going in the future? Are you going to stay together and keep at it? Yeah, definitely. Well, when we kind of get get the ball rolling again, uh, we'll hopefully start working on an album. Uh, just getting kind of the right collection of songs together um, and then kind of hit the studio and see what we can come up with. I suppose it, if, if you kind of, if you want people to take you seriously, you really have to kind of have an album out there and kind of be pushing it with, with gigs and stuff around the country. So hopefully we can get the album done and, and done well and get it kind of proper, get it properly pushed around the country and make a proper stab at it. And is it difficult maintaining the motivation to keep that going? No, I don't think so at all. Really, like we're really, we're all really into the music ourselves. Like so, it's a, it's a, it's a nice release from the rest of having to work or go to college or whatever. It's great to have it. Like it's, it's always, that's never, it's never a chore really. Carting the gear is the only, uh, <laughs> that's the only thing. Like, but no, no, it's, it's never, never any hassle at all. We're delighted to do it. I think. So we can expect bigger and better things. Then? Hopefully, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> have to see what happens. But uh, yeah, once we get down to work like and just once we have our own place down in Cork now just working away every day like with, with less kind of strain on getting everyone together it should come together for us hopefully. Now the big shots hitting the ground settle down You've been wasting it all over town settle down Now the big shots hit the ground